everybody today I'm going to be doing a video all about my empties I usually try to do this on like the first or so of the month but in case you don't know I was actually on vacation my boyfriend took me to Universal for my birthday um, slash Christmas because my birthday is the 30th so I was not here so some of these things I actually used up on that trip because um, I had some like, travel size things some of these things I just used up during the month but anyway they've all been used up relatively recently so Let's go ahead and get into these. If you're like me and you're like, girl, I love me some empties because I know they're my favorite. I will go ahead and list my playlist down below so you can just watch all the things I use up because I make these about every single month. So, first and foremost, uh, Summer's Eve Cleansing Wash. This is the Island Splash. It's a really, really like, light scent. Um, it is for your lady bits and I highly recommend it. Um, and it's like tested for that specifically. You can either use that or use like a really mild soap or just water um, because it is kind of self-cleansing in case you didn't know that probably did but all that being said um, this is what I use I like the scent even though it's very light and you don't really smell that much except for like you smell like the first couple times you open the bottle and then to me it's gone but I will be repurchasing that for sure next I have the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner I really really like this so um, as you can see I have a lot of hair and it's really curly um, and it does get tangled super easily so I like to have kind of a leave-in conditioner slash detangler um, I really like this one it smells really nice and sweet and it doesn't it lasts a decent amount of time I really like the lotion ones kind of like the, it's a 10 however I feel like you go through those so quickly and this lasts a lot better so I think I would be purchased that I used up the Tresemme Tray 2 spray um, it's a non-aerosol. I actually got it when I went to New York City for a conference, and then I just was using it whenever I traveled, so this is all gone as well. It's fine, but I don't love it. Um, maybe just because it's a non-aerosol, I don't really know, but it did make my hair crunchy, which is never a good look. <coughs> <coughs> look at that highlight. Hello. So, because of that, I would not repurchase it. I used up the Up and Up Basic Cotton Squares. I like the premium cotton squares better. They're a little bit more expensive, but I think they're better. Um, I've never tried the Sushado or the cl Cotton Cloud or something like that, but this does a nice job. However, they're they're really, really thin. So, I don't know. Like, it's it's kind of, like, easy to saturate it all the way through really quickly. Um, but I'd be purchased it. It's not very expensive. And there's always um, a coupon on Cartwheel for either 5 or 10% off, uh, which is Cartwheel's an app in case you don't know that. Next, I used up the Jane Carter Solution Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. Again, same kind of deal. I always like to have one of these around. This is a more natural brand. I don't like the way it smells, though. It smells really soapy. Um, it lasts a really long time. This is it's like a white, and it's all liquidy. Um, this is my second one of these. It does a nice job, but I just really don't like the scent, so I would not be repurchasing that one. I used up the Orbe Waves and Spray. Um, it's just kind of a spray, kind of like a dry conditioner, or like a dry shampoo. I don't really know. It gave you a lot of volume um, when I just kind of felt like my hair was doing very well. If I was going somewhere, like I think I finished this up, I would have a big family party that we have once a year on my mom's side. And I was like, y'all, my hair is so flat. And my family is a big believer in big hair, don't care. Um, so I had to use this up. Really like that. I know Orbe is really expensive, so I don't know that I repurchase it. I got it in a birch box. I'm a big fan. I used up the Aqua Fresh Fluoride Toothpaste. Um, I actually, it's kind of a funny story. So I am in charge, or last summer I was in charge of 12 undergraduates. So I was kind of, they called me mom. I kind of just helped them through this whole um, research pro uh, process. I kind of taught them things. Some of them were like directly under me doing my research. Um, I just kind of had to help them out. And when they left for the summer, a lot of them left like some toiletries, some food, etc. Um, just because they didn't want to pack it up or they couldn't on the plane, blah, blah, blah. So this is from that. Uh, I don't like Aquafresh uh, near as much. It doesn't make me feel as clean. I'm a big believer of the Crest Pro Health. That's my favorite. This wasn't terrible, but the other one tastes a lot better. This kind of tasted like foamy minty. I don't really know. It's fine. I mean, I don't think I have, I don't know. I'm terrified of the dentist. I don't go there unless I have to. Um, so I don't want to say like, this made me have no cavities, but you know, it's all right. But I would not repurchase. I used up this. It's from an Ipsy bag. Uh, I will go ahead and leave 
all of my unboxing playlists below as well because I do um, get a lot of these things from unboxings. Um, but this is the Best Face Forever Exfoliating Daily Wash. It was a very thick exfoliator. I don't think you could use it daily unless you have really, really dry skin. I have pretty dry skin and for me it was a little much. It had a decent smell. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, kind of pepperminty. Um, it did a nice job exfoliating. Whenever my face just wasn't doing right, I would just pull this out and use it. Um, that's kind of just how I use my exfoliators. It did a good job. Um, I don't know how much it is. Again, I got it from an Ipsy bag, but it was decent. I guess I'd be purchased that. I used up the Boost Extracts Mango Body Butter. I do like this. It smells very sweet and like mango. It did a good job. Um, it was like $10 for this size, which I don't know is okay. I don't think it's a bad value. However, I have this issue with thick lotions and I don't know, maybe it's just me where they kind of like form a barrier and I feel like it retains heat. Now I'm a very, very, very hot natured person and I work as a lifeguard. So when I'm up there lifeguarding and I've like showered the day before and I have this lotion on, it just feels so thick and I feel like I'm just hotter and hotter. I don't like it. So this did do that, but it smelled really nice. Um, but because of that, I probably wouldn't purchase. I'm using something now I really love. Um, so I'd probably just stick with that and not buy this again. I used up the Kerastase Crystalliste. Um, it was just a mask. I don't really... Luminous Perfecting Mask. Um, I actually got like two or three uses out of this. It was a really nice like foil packet size. I got it with an, a birch box order. It was kind of like my free sample. It was really nice. It made my hair insanely soft. I actually, I used it one night and then the next day I had to go to work. Um, again, I'm a lifeguard and I was like swimming and I got out and my boss was like, girl, what is in your hair? It is so soft. So it does do a really good job. Um, I did really like it. Kerastase is a light, slightly expensive. Um, but I do think I'd repurchase this based on, you know, the foil packet. It was really nice. All right. I finally finished up the Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water. Um, I don't think this really did that much for me. I just kind of, I would use a pore filling primer in my T-zone and a little bit on my cheeks. Um, and then I would use this on the rest of my face. It got to where it was like squirting out like in shoots and it would like ruin my makeup. So I didn't like that. Um, it did before that, like that was just like at the very end before that it would like have a nice mist. It felt refreshing, but I don't really think it did anything at all. Um, I really like the setting spray by Urban Decay. I can see difference when I use that. This not so much, oops, would not be purchased. Do I have the conditioner? Here we go. Um, this is also from a birch box. It is the Renee Ferterrer. No idea how to say that, but that's close enough, right? Lumicia. Illuminating Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, this was nice. It smelled pretty good. Oh, maybe it didn't. It just smells like soap. Like some shampoo. And I think maybe this was sweet. Nope. Just smells like shampoo and conditioner. I was wrong. Um, it did an okay job. The shampoo was kind of like that clear gel. Um, I like to have like a really hydrating shampoo. So for me, it wasn't the best. It made my hair feel nice, but it wasn't really anything outstanding. Would not purchase those. I got those in a birch box. I don't know if I said that, but if I did, there you go. I used up this soap. It is the Soft Soap Juicy Pomegranate and Mango Infusions. This little baby. Again, I got this when I went to New York, and then i just been using it up while I travel. I do not like the scent of this. Mm -mm. It's like really pomegranate which would make sense because that's the scent. Um... But I don't like it. And my boyfriend used it uh, when we were in Universal. Just And he said he didn't like it either. And it had some beads. Like it was supposed to be exfoliating. But there weren't really enough. It didn't really do anything. And it just. It was not great. Would not be purchased. I got. So I had like a $5 little thing. For a birch box. Like I randomly got 50 points. Which is equivalent to $5. And they're like, yo, girl, you have three days to use it. So I bought a new pencil sharpener because what can you buy for $5, really? Um, I really like this one, though. It's working really well. So I threw away my old one. It was really gross. It was $2 from NYC. Um, and it just didn't really do anything, you can tell. It's pretty gnarly. Um, glad to be done with that. Also, like, the big side 
just was like a really awkward size and a lot of things didn't fit in that so I, I don't recommend that I mean it's a couple of dollars but still I don't think that's a very good job I used up the Marcel Hydra C energizing hydrating lotion um, so I was using this as a, like a morning lotion moisturizer if that's what you call it I got it in a birch box very recently it wasn't very good um, it actually made my feel, skin feel kind of dry I really like the hydrating or the like energizing thing I use um, an energizing face wash every morning I don't know I feel like I can tell a difference um, and I am 0% a morning person so anything that can make me feel a little bit better in the morning I'm 100% about that this didn't do anything it kind of made my skin feel dry do not recommend all right I've got like four more things right I think that's it we're near the end I used up a deodorant not very exciting. It is the Secret Powder Fresh Invisible Solid. Um, again, when I went to New York, I needed one. It smells like powder. Um, it was fine. There was nothing really wrong with it. Uh, I've been using the Degree for a while because I like the way it, it performs. I am a sweaty gal. Um, but it sometimes irritates my armpits. Like, it'll make them really itchy. And I don't feel like I had that with this. So maybe I'd be purchase it. I don't know. It wasn't bad, though. I used up the Orbe Gold Envy Luminous Face Mask. Um, this was just another little sample. I got it in a birch box. I actually have a picture on my Instagram. If you want to follow that, it's linked down below as always. Um, of me using this. It was gold. And it was very sparkly. Um, it was a thick, kind of a gel almost. Put it all over my face. Waited a while. Took it off. Didn't really notice anything. So I don't... I didn't notice anything, Not I would not be purchased it, and again, Orbe is a more expensive brand, um, and if I don't notice anything, why would I pay for it? And then I used up two fragrances, one I really liked, one I did not. Um, I have the Clean Blossom, which is not too floral. If you don't want, like, if you like a little bit of floral, this might be good for you. I like the Clean Fragrances, but I do not like floral at all, so it was just, even though it was... Very lightly floral is still a little too much for me. And then I used up the Paco Rameau, Rabo, Raban, Paco Raban. I think that's how you actually say it. It's the One Million Perfume. It's gold. It's kind of a deep, darker nighttime scent. I really like it. It's kind of up my scent pr profile. I probably purchased this. And that is all my empties. I feel like I went through a pretty good amount of stuff this month in a week. Um, so hopefully y'all agree and y'all enjoy these videos. Like I said, um, I will go ahead and link my whole playlist down below because I really love doing empties. I do them about every month. So if you want to see them, by all means, check there. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.